moving on, policy change in government processes and a review of the tertiary education system are needed to help the youth develop necessary business management skills. Dow Africa Public Affairs led Moom, lead Mumbi Kega says the lack of understanding in business management is denying the youth critical investor funding, sadly even at the pitching stage. Analysis by market watchers indicates that at least seven major Kenyan-based startups have gone down in under one year. Most of the challenges have been attributed to the poor grasping of business models, especially at the stage of seeking capital. The education system is just not supposed to instill knowledge. It's supposed to prepare you to defend and to go, engage and socialize in the community. So how do you become a person who can be able to socialize and engage in the community? and also defend the things that you're doing. Government intervention, because all the work that we are doing is really social services. It's the work that government ought to be doing. So we are stepping in the gap to do what government has not done despite the taxes that are being collected. But at TLF Africa, over and above the work we do, we also champion a lot of policy intervention. It's very important that we understand that in as much as there is limited funding, donors are also shifting their priorities still for the same cause, they are, but they are modifying how and what they want to see. Speaking at a stakeholder dialogue and networking forum convened by Leap Africa and Development Partners, it emerged that youth development faces many challenges that can be dealt with through upskilling. They have great ideas, but a lot of times that, that communication skill is lacking. So what we do, we have a very heavy mentorship and coaching component, even through our YDOS, for example. We're not just about giving you money. We want to onboard the project leads. We want to give them public speaking skills. We want to show them and help them and help skill them in how they can defend an idea, how they can project an idea. Development partners are also calling for partnerships and change in attitude amongst community-based organizations in a bid to empower the youth. Supply is diminishing. Most governments are diminishing their giving. You look at the U.S. government, look at the European government, it's, it's diminishing. So how innovative can we be to make sure that we are getting this funding? And that's where we are seeing the role of private sector coming in. A social enterprise that many organizations need to be encouraged and challenged into social entrepreneurship. That besides offering social services like leadership training, how else can we repackage ourselves and have an arm or a division that, for instance, provides consultancy? They add that financing youth investments will be a boost to economic growth and job creation. SDG 7 speaks to decent work and economic growth. And it is here that development partners say that it will need a multi-sectoral approach if the youth are to be empowered in social impact and furthermore in business. Alanaoko, Prime Edition.